Hello and welcome to this Getting Started with Linkerd Service Mesh introduction video. In this video, we're going to install Linkerd onto a locally running Kubernetes cluster in Kind. Kind is short for Kubernetes and Docker, but you could also use something like Minikube or any cluster that's available to you. You'll also need to make sure that you have Kube Control installed as well. Uh, the Linkerd docs will guide you through the initial setup, as well as ensuring that your environment is ready to run the Linkerd service mesh. So let's get started with that. You can see from here, the first step is to make sure that we have kube control installed and that we can access our cluster. We'll use the kube control version with the short flag to get the output that shows us that the client version is 1.18.8 and the server version is 1.18.2. The next step in the getting started documentation is to install the Linkerd CLI. There is an installer script that at run.linkerd.io and we can just copy this command and put it directly into our terminal to see the binary be installed. From this command, you can see that curl is used to get the script, and we pipe the output to shell in order to install link the Linkerd CLI. So we'll do that now. And here we can see Linkerd was already installed. And one really important part is to make sure that you export the path to the Linkerd binary. By default, the binary is installed in your home directory under the dot linkerd2 slash bin directory. We can confirm that it's been installed by using the linkerd version command. Similar to the kube control version command, we see that the client version is stable 2.8.1 and the server version is unavailable because the linkerd CLI or control plane has not yet been deployed to the cluster. So if we follow along in these stuff, documentation, we can see that the next step is to validate that Linkerd can run on the cluster. Let's do that now. We do that using the Linkerd version command, or sorry, Linkerd check command. And we specify the pre-flag because this is a pre-flight check to make sure that we have the permissions necessary to deploy the Linkerd control plane components. It also verifies that Linkerd is not already installed in which case the pre command would fail. Here we can see that the status results are all green checks, which means that we can proceed to the next step, which is installing Linkerd to the cluster. We accomplish this using the Linkerd install command and pipe the output to kube control apply command. What we'll see when we execute this command is that all of the resources, including service accounts, pod security policies, role bindings, config maps, cluster role bindings, are all being created so that we can run the Linkerd deployments of the control plane. If you remember from the last command, the last check command, we use the pre flag. This time we're just going to run Linkerd check by itself so that we can see the status of the Linkerd deployment. And here we see that the, the control plane uh, components, all of the resources and the security pieces exist. Uh, and each of the components is running. And now we all we have these green checks as well for the Linkerd check command. You can run Linkerd check at any time after Linkerd has been deployed to your cluster to get the status of the, the control plane. We can also use kube control get pods in Linkerd to see the pods themselves running in the Linkerd namespace. And again, we can confirm that the control plane is up and running and it's healthy. And now we have the Linkerd service mesh deployed to our cluster. As a bonus step, we can 
take a look at the Linkerd dashboard, which is an interface, a graphical interface, that is used to see the status of the deployments in the cluster, uh, as well as the control plane itself. So here we can see that there are meshed pods in the Linkerd control plane, which are the Linkerd components themselves. So that's it. That's your brief introduction to the Linkerd service mesh. I hope that this was helpful and happy meshing.